All right, guys, KK4PYN back again with you. Uh, doing a little bit of work outside today, and uh, thought I'd just kind of give you a glimpse into what goes on behind the shack, if that makes sense. Um, <laughs> this is the window to my shack, um, and I'm running a bunch of stuff outside here. As you can see here, I've got uh, some antenna cables going through the wall, and I've got some power wires going through the wall. Louie wants to help today, I guess. What's up, buddy? Hmm? So, I just kind of wanted to show you what's going on back here. Um, eventually, what's going to happen is that this area here of the wall is going to be where my power walls are. Um, the batteries are going to run my house. Tesla should be installing those in uh, January or February. But for now what I got is a bunch of batteries. These are three big 12 volt um, just kind of heavy duty commercial batteries. They're not deep cycle unfortunately. Um, they do give off a ton of cranky amp so and I could probably use them to weld. Um, well, right now they're just hooked up to the Vanner 1800 Bravo, which is right here, which is an 1800 watt uh, charger inverter. Uh, you can see the big. Hold on, I got a mosquito out here, middle of the day. Love Florida. Sorry about that. Anyway, yeah. So this is a. Uh, this inverter runs off of those, and it's pretty much for backup. Uh, if all my power went down, I could run uh, the refrigerator off of that and a couple other things if I needed to. Um, you know, it'd be an extension cord deal, but whatever. Uh, and then I've got this battery down here, which is sort of deep cycle. It's one of those marine RV type ones. Uh, I bought that uh, as a last ditch effort before one of our recent hurricanes. If you hear that water in the background, this is my pond, so don't be alarmed. Um, the pond pump back there, but anyway, this set up right here is hooked up to my 100 watt solar panel um, or 425 watt solar panels that are up on the ceiling of the or up on the roof of the porch here and then there's a smaller 45 watt panel that kind of trickle charges these three batteries right here so um, this battery provides power to all sorts of stuff inside and with that 100 watt panel on it, it gives me enough power to do all sorts of stuff. So, uh, what I'm getting ready to do now is drill another hole right there for this coax. And this coax right here goes to my 2 meter 440 Yagi, which is up uh, on a rotator up there. So, I've got the coax from my disc cone coming in there. This black coax right here is uh, um, from my Diamond X50, my dual band. And then this big thick wire right here actually goes to these three 12 volt batteries and that goes inside to that guest switch that's inside that I can power uh, my 12 volt rail off if I need to. Um, with the radios on it and stuff like that and then this smaller 12 volt zip cord here is for um, my small power setup inside that goes to uh, that little smaller 12 volt battery and then this black cable which goes along here comes from my 100 watt solar panel which all runs up here kind of janky but uh, it comes down here and splits out and goes to the battery. Um, I just kind of got a fuse sandwich in there so nothing happens but anyway yeah that's what's going on back here. I'm about to take this Mongo drill bit here on a good old Craftsman and uh, drill a big old hole and get my wires going through there so this is my battery tender little solar controller. That comes from the 45 watt kit that just kind of trickle charges these. This does a really good job, that battery tender, of uh, just kind of turning power on and off. When the batteries are full, it 
barely puts anything in there. It, it just keeps it at a nice float. Um, so anyway, that's uh, that's what's going on back here. Like I said just a quick video, kind of giving you some insight. Um, if you've been on my Patreon page, you'll notice that I put up the Shack Tour, which is the exclusive for uh, my Patreon supporters right now. And uh, hey, guys, take it easy. Jeez Louise. Um, exclusive for my my Patreon supporters. The dog's going crazy back there. Uh, that'll be up on this channel in, in a couple days. Um, but this will kind of give you an insight as to what is going on the other side. And if you look right here, it's all the wires from my uh, security cameras coming through there. And then there's a ground wire also. This is just kind of a quick and dirty setup I did here with the board uh, to pass some wires through there. Eventually I'm going to have some sort of box, like an electrical box there. And uh, all the wires will go through the wall, like right here. I'll probably just blow out a big section, put up some sort of NEMA enclosure, seal it off really well, and uh, call it a day. So, anyway, just a quick little vid for today. I gotta get the porch cleaned up here, it's a mess. Gotta get the generator started and running a couple minutes every month, and then I got some more antennas to put up. and. My knee is finally getting back to normal, so I'm going to try and get a job here soon and uh, kind of get life back on track. But at any rate, um, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with me. If you haven't already, go ahead and like and subscribe. If you didn't like the video, let me know why. Go ahead and hit the thumbs down, but I look for input from you guys. So um, make sure you're following me on Twitter at KK4PYN. And please support me on Patreon so I can continue to bring you guys fascinating content and interesting things to watch and I'll leave a link down to my patreon page in the uh, in the description also interested to know what you guys think about the PayPal donate button uh, I'm gonna check that out it looks like you have to have a business account I'm not exactly sure how that works but uh, I definitely don't have any type of business so I'm gonna look into some other options because that way it's, it's easier to do PayPal I think uh, but anyway that's all for today. You guys, thanks for watching. As always, stay tuned. There's more to come. 73.